Terrell Thomas, we are back live here by daily. These Urban Times visit sideline stories. Don't forget, starting on the 27th, we'll be coming even earlier, 8 p.m., and we'll be rocking. And, of course, talking sports, entertainment, and a lot more. But tonight, we just let you know we'll be joined by some great guests, and they're joining yeah. us at the desk right now. Mm-hmm. It's nothing like talking to entrepreneurs. It's always a oh, great yeah. thing to sit down and talk to entrepreneurs, pick their brains, find out how the creative process began in their business and what they do. I'm going to let you gentlemen introduce yourself, and then we'll talk about what you have going on with the, with the icy treats. They good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Willie Millions. and uh... Yeah, what's up, man? I'm Timmy Grins. Um, we, uh, we started this in my kitchen in uh, Sunset Park, Brooklyn, okay. back in like 2012, 2013. Uh, I used to mix up batches in like three-gallon containers. Mm-hmm. And take you guys familiar with Coney Island? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I used to take it down to Coney Island. I had a little little five by five spot that I would set up and I would scoop it, right? Like at a dollar a scoop. Mm-hmm. And it was right 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 on Stillwell Avenue. So it was like literally you could off the subway, you walk to the beach, right? So I was like prime location, right across from you guys know Nathan's famous hot dogs, yeah. right? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. original OG location, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like right across where they have the, where they have the hot dog eating contest, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, you could have seen me on ESPN, like trying to get my hand <laughs> in, right? like on July 4th. But that was, that's like literally where it started, you know? <laughs> and then in 2014, uh, we started putting them into squeeze pops. And uh, I got in a van and I just drove like one store to the next in Brooklyn, right? Uh, just knocking on you know walking in explaining talking to the owner saying hey my name is timmy you know we make these it's an all natural icy it's kind of like a frozen smoothie right and just kind of kick my little lingo and one store after the other by the end of 2014 we were in about 500 locations in brooklyn alone uh by the then i started calling my friends because the, the most the best part about everything is when the re-ups occur right mm-hmm. because it's like you know you can sell something you know you can make something and you hope that it really works right mm-hmm. But when you actually sell it and you come back a couple of weeks later and it's gone, yeah. right? That's the magic, right? Because now you're like, wow, this thing actually works, right? So it's like, I started calling my friends. I'm like, look, you know, and I used to do music, right? I mean, everyone always still does music. You never stop doing music. Right. But like, I tried to do it what I would call competitively, right? In a sense to try to make a career of it, right? But, you know, I would call my friends all trying to do the same thing. And I was like, look, man, nobody really buys our music like that. <laughs> So I got something that we can sell, right? <laughs> right? Being hope. honest, right? Yeah. Being honest. So, uh, you know, some of my friends started to join me in it, right? And we started hitting Manhattan, and we started hitting the Bronx, and we started hitting Queens, and Staten Island, and North Jersey, and then we went down to Baltimore, we went out to D.C., and then my friends that were running uptown, they were like, we don't want to stop this, man. Well, we're, we're, let's, let's get into be cold. Where can we go next? And I'm like, well, where do you want to go? They're like, let's go to Southern California. So that winter, 2016, we loaded <laughs> up. We drove the van across the United States. And we stayed in a hostel. You say you took the product with you. <laughs> we, we shipped it out. Okay. Shipped out okay. some pallets, okay. put them into the warehouse, and we were like, yo, let's get busy. And we just murked out, hit the streets. We stayed at a hostel. It was a real swanky hostel, too, man. Like, <laughs> like there, were, there were pornos being shot in one room. Oh, there was cocaine no. being sold in another. Everybody's walking around with cups like these, you know. Everyone's kind of leaning over. <laughs> but it was like $28 a night for a four or like two bedrooms, right? Oh, yeah, was, so I was like, yo, this yeah, is the move, awesome. right? Yeah, but we had a great time. And so and like I said, we went out one store at a time, right? And then, so now in New York, we got about 3,500 locations that we sell to on a fairly regular mm-hmm. basis. Okay. And in L.A., we got probably about 750 to 1,000 locations. Jeez. But then off of that, you know, really quiet is kept. Before we dipped into L.A., we went to Vegas. I about to say, and so we spent, Vegas. yeah, yeah, we <laughs> hit New Year's in Vegas. And mm. my guy in Vegas, he was from Baltimore originally. He had moved to Vegas, and he's like, yo, you got to check this out, man. I think we could sell a ton of these out here. Well... He was actually running a strip club at the time when we got out there, Shout right? Shout out to Kevin. And uh, do you guys remember uh, uh, Hangover? Yes. yes. You know when the movie starts and you see that strip club right at the very beginning, right? That was the strip club, right? So it's like, now it's just been shut down now. But it's been all these little fun, nostalgic kind of things involved in the growth of this little brand, right? 
So, but then we took Vegas. After we took Vegas, we took L.A. After we took L.A., we went up to Denver, Colorado, because, you know, right? Mm, yeah. Yep, it's Denver, yep, yep. right? Okay. Everybody loves Denver. Everybody <laughs> loves Denver. <laughs> right. Yeah. You. you know, Thanks, people are always hungry in Denver. Yeah. You know, it. but then, so then from Denver, though, we went to Salt Lake City. And then after Salt Lake City, then we started, we went back to the East Coast. And then we went out on the Vans Warp Tour. We started mm -hmm. taking around the country like that. And that's where I ran into Willie. You know, oh, uh, two tour. summers ago, Warp Tour, uh, he pulled me up on a tour and he's like, yo, you know, we should really talk about these things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, man, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And then lo and behold, this past summer, we're mm -hmm. over in Maryland and all of a sudden I hear, yo, Timmy. I'm back on tour. And there he is. <laughs> back on tour. <laughs> he just comes up and he's like, yo, man, we've been talking about this. We need to do yeah. it. And I was like, man, well, well let's, let's start putting wheels into motion. Right. And this past couple of days, we... Got in the van and started riding from store to store here in Atlanta, knocking on doors, introducing the product. Willie and I allow like Ben and Jerry, man. That's we right. knock on doors. We got about yeah. 20 locations in the first week, you know, about that. Yeah. In about three days. It's only yeah. been three days. So, yeah. yeah. Willie, I've known you for 21. some time, of That's course, right. since, since the early stages of, of being in Atlanta. You as well from yeah. Philly. Made your way down here in Atlanta. Another one. Another Philly. Great. Great. You know, yeah, we, we are here. here. We, we are here. Place. Thank God Izzy ain't here. Thank <laughs> God Izzy ain't here. We are here. We are You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Willie ain't playing the fantasy league. I might man. have to get in it this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fan fantasy football league on deck. You do a lot in music, and as we mentioned now, Absolutely. you're doing things in the entrepreneur world of frozen pops, ices. You know, this was my first move in in, in food and beverage, right? But I know a, bi a good business I did when I see it. So I seen him two years ago. I had one. I was like, "Whoa, this is money." That's what I just said. <laughs> I pulled him to the side and I'm like, man, this is not in the Southeast. Seen him a, a year later, I'm like, yo, we definitely got to do this now. Definitely. And lo and behold, man, he just was like, I'm ready. You ready? And we just made the, we made the situation happen. And now, you know. Yeah, Atlanta, I, Atlanta I showed up at his mom's house in yeah. a 31 foot frozen truck. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, he was serious. I was yeah. like, yo, you ready? You ready, right? Like, <laughs> Let's go. I start putting freezers in yeah. his mom's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I'm about to put another freezer. Anybody yeah. with freezer space, holla at me. I'm looking yeah. to put some freezers all <laughs> over the Some Atlanta, stash man. spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we see these four flavors right now, as you can see. And as you uh -huh. see, right? Cherry, mango, blueberry. Raspberry, excuse me, and strawberry lemonade. Yeah. I had the strawberry lemonade. Yeah. That was a masterpiece in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mango and is blessed. Mango, mango, you were crazy. Mango. Mango. And I, had, I, had, I, had, I had one at breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was early in the morning. I just didn't have mangoes for breakfast, man. Yeah. Indeed. That's, I, and I, I, I had the strawberry lemonade for breakfast. That's the beauty. Strawberry yeah, lemonade right after breakfast, man. Right after breakfast. I loaded him up. I said, yo, L, spread the word. Yeah, that's why I think it's ironic how you just said, like, well, you know good business when you man, see it because you definitely a yeah. couple months back, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, you know. So you been holding out then. I, was, I wasn't holding out. I was watching him build his empire. Yeah, and that's wait. why he here. Dang, he was, we could have helped. Jesus. He, he, he been holding out. I'm still in process. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it in him. I could have put this in there. We got y'all right to yeah, work, though. It's perfect timing. Everything is timing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why that's why he up here rocking and rolling with us right now. He's about to get hot too, and that's a perfect time for this. Yeah, indeed. What it's have been some of the challenges as entrepreneurs? Because it's, it's never easy. That's a, that's a fairy tale fantasy script that people think. Oh, I'm gonna start yeah. my own business, and there's no Jeez, trials and tribulations, no roller sure. coasters that come along with it. So we obviously see successes building and things yeah, are going yeah. in a positive light. But it was a process and a grind. So what was it like? From I mean, the beginning it's a the process day? and a grind every single day. I respect like that. it's like, uh, you know, I mean, from day one, like, look. I sold like organic cleaner at the fucking. We, well, we can curse. You guys. Right. You 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 I am out of Brooklyn, right? You good. You good. You good. Uh, you good. You let good. it go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, indeed. That's much better. Yeah. But I was selling organic cleaner at the BJ's Wholesale Club on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get the scrap together to get the first batch together, right? And when I got the first batch together, they showed up with an 18 wheeler full of product, right? And I'm like, all right, now I gotta sell. And all I had was a van. And I was like, all right, I know one thing has to happen. I have to transfer the ownership of these boxes to somebody, right? Because I, otherwise I'm done for, right? right? And there's been instances like that every step of the way, you know? Like, I mean, even most recently. Like, so we use a facility to help fill the pops, right? 
uh, you know, take our ingredients, take our recipe or whatnot, and fill them, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of like a bottling company, like mm-hmm. with Coca-Cola, right? Um, but most recently, the facility that we use deemed us a competitor, mm. okay? So in the middle of the summer, they said to us, yeah, I'm not going to make it for you anymore. And I was like, oh, word. <laughs> wow, that's a little early, don't you think, boys? You know, like these guys, you guys are giants, you big ass company. What are you doing trying to take me out? They're like, yeah, well, you know, you're in the LA Unified School District now. You know, you're in Cisco Foods now, right? You know, and you, you're in the shop rights now. You're kind of playing on our turf, right? And I was like, wow, this is some big boy shit, right? So I, you know, they were like, listen, we'll do one more run for you, but you got to pay for the whole thing up front. And I was like, man, I don't got that kind of scrap. I never have that kind of scraps. But I had to find it, right? Because otherwise, it was kaput. Tell them how much it was. Right? It was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. It wasn't quite six figures, but it was just about there, right? right on the street. You know? So it was like, I got to go find that. And I had to find that quick, right? So, you know, fortunately, if you do right, you know, people tend to respect your, your grind. And I continually put out to the universe exactly what I'm doing. You know, so like a lot of people follow, they pay attention. Mm -hmm. So when I put out a call, you know, people call back. Right. So I was able to get that done. Right. Get that that run done. But then they were like, all right, no more after this. You're done. Right. So it's like I was like, all right. But randomly. okay, and this is where Mm -hmm. you do good. Shit comes back to you. Right. Randomly. I had purchased freezers from a company that has gone out of business. Right. And uh, they tried to make an alcoholic version of a squeeze pop. And it did well over in Europe, but it didn't do well here. Okay? They actually hollered at me about buying their equipment, buying their freezers. And I was like, oh, this is cents on the dollar. Yeah, let's do this deal, right? So we acquired that. And then, but we got to talking, right? We became friendly. And I told the guy, I'm like, hey, man, I could believe what happened. This is going on, it's going on. He's like, oh, wow, so you're going to need to get your own equipment, aren't you? And I was like, yeah. He goes, Psh. We got equipment. It's sitting in a warehouse in Canada. And we've never even touched it. Do you want to buy it? And I was like, yes, I do. Yeah. 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 And sure enough, we got our own equipment now. So now it's like, now I feel like that hurdle will never be presented to us ever again. Okay. I'll never be like, oh, shit. There's no product left. You got the right? ability to create. Like that, exactly. Exactly. Now that on it, but now now there's new hurdles, right? Now there's new hurdles, right? Because now people perceive us as a player in the game, right? So now that same people that cut me off in one way, well, what are they going to hit me with next? They're going to try, right? Well, they're going to they're they're gonna keep coming, right? right? But at every step of the way, people have tried to take us out. We had a company in New York try to knock us off because we were selling into so many stores, and they were trying to get us to work with them. I was like, man, I'm not working with them, right? Because they're like some horse head in the bed guys, right? Because New York City distribution, it's cash money, Mm -hmm. right? Where there's cash, there's typically notorious people, right? And these guys are known to be pretty notorious people, right? They actually threaten the lives of some of our guys in the streets, right? I know people be like, yo, this is ice cream. This is kid (laughs) shit. Oh, no, this is big money shit, the streets of New York, right? The streets of anywhere, really, because it's distribution, right? It's moving things from, and, and people pay money to be, you know, in those places. Like big brands will pay these distributors big money just to take a little slot. But we've carved our own lane, and we didn't take no for an answer. These guys told us, "Oh, that'll never work in New York." And I was like, "Well, 3,500 stores later, a couple million units later, I beg to differ, right? I beg to differ." And now we're just going to keep it moving, right? But now those same guys, they tried to knock us off. They made a replica product, but the shit didn't work. Right? Trash. Shit didn't work, right? We've already been in the game. There's Oreo and there's Hydrox, right? That's what it is, you know? So it's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing that keeps me awake at night, though, is that I know that the further I go, the further that we go, the more people will try to come at us and try to cut us out, mm-hmm. right? Try to replicate us, try to knock us out. So what we have to do is move fast and move hard, and move but keep quiet. it bottom up. Yeah. Bottom up. Because when you start from the bottom, they can't stop you. See, now in New York, it's very fucking difficult to stop us. Now with our own machine, it becomes more difficult to stop us, right? Because it's like, we're bottom up, right? If I went in through Target and I sold into Target and Target was like, yeah, bring it in. Right? I'm like, hell yeah, big day, 3,000 stores, this is great. But then if Target, within six weeks, decided, eh, 
It's not really moving fast enough, right? There's your business. Goodbye. You're done. And then at that point, I would have spent how much money you think to try to put that product into 3,000 stores? Not just the product to manufacture, but Target charges you like real estate mm -hmm. for every single slot on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So now you're paying that slotting fees. You're paying all of these different things to try to get it in. And if they said no, game over. Now my business is out of business, right? But nowadays, you know, if Mohammed tells us, hey, I don't want to carry it anymore. No big deal, Mohammed. I'm going to go across the street to the guy across the street. Yo, Sam, what up, dude? Hey, got this fresh, uh, uh, all-natural icy, kind of like a frozen smoothie. You should pack it in your store, right? We can keep it moving. No one little thing can stop us in that regard, right? That bottom-up strategy as opposed to trying to go top-down. So, I respect that. Do y'all see more flavors coming in the future? Which, which yeah, you man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but I will tell you, uh, one of the dudes from Under Armour has been a real solid... Um, you know, kind of guy, like he's, he's looked me out, giving me good advice. And if you guys remember when Under Armour started, they only had that one shirt, right? One shirt, white, <laughs> black lips. Exactly. Yeah. And the little Under Armour logo Under that came up out the collar, on, on right? That was yeah. it. He was like, don't do too many flavors no, until you right. got distribution. When you got distribution, then start dropping them. He said, because like us, we only had one shirt till we had distribution. Then we started dropping more. He said, get more in the door first before uh -huh. you spread yourself too thin. Mm -hmm. Because every time you add a new flavor, you add a new layer of cost, a new layer of different items and things along those lines you got to deal with. I will tell you, though, quiet is kept. We might as well let them know, right? Since we're looking. This is a hip hop show. We're looking for Killer Mike. Killer Mike, where you at? We've been knocking at your door. We got this Killer Peach flavor coming. Right. Okay. And that works out perfectly. In this right. Stay <laughs> right. In this stay here. We do feel like that would be right. a nice collaboration. I was just Especially about here. Peach. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Killer yeah. Mike, Killer you know, Peach. You know peach Killer right. Pete, where in you that, at, Killer? In that new Peach Crown? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Peace Crown. I forgot about that. He's coming out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So y'all let him know. We, we let him know. Right, we gonna we gonna have to let Mike know. We've been hitting him up. We've been hitting him up. Barbershop in the game. Huh? Yeah, I do need a cut, man. Yeah, we've been dropping at. <laughs> I do the, need we've a been cut. dropping at the barbershop. Yeah. 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 Talking to family day? members. And that game this weekend. Yeah. So he missed. So somebody going to shop. Well, you be there. So we was trying to arrange a you know a little FaceTime conference. He been out of town though. But we've been knocking down his door. So, L, all y'all, if y'all see him, let <laughs> him know. Dope, Willie Millions, be, Fred, uh, Timmy, and the yeah. cool supplies is looking for him. Killer Peach. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like the name of that. Killer Peach in, in Georgia. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that too. That's clever. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, and now having our own machine, we can start to do stuff like that. You could do, like, you know, collaborations. You could do cool shit, you know? If y'all want to do one for, if y'all want to do one for the show, I mean that'd be definitely dope too. You know that'd be cool too. I'm just throwing it out there. Man. We'll <laughs> throw a lot. What's the ingredient? Well, we 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 do. Uh, you do a strawberry uh, banana because strawberry bananas will be busting everything. Black cherry maybe. Black do cherry. The black cherry. Okay. Okay. Wild cherry is a black cherry. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah 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 yeah. We get the cherries from Washington. So you got you got a pineapple. Orange pineapple, pineapple yeah, strawberry okay, banana. Okay. We messed around with a little pineapple coconut. Yeah. Pineapple coconut. Pineapple coconut. Yep. Pineapple coconut. Pineapple coconut. Yep. Yep. That was an exclusive that we had over the summer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did drop that over the summer. <laughs> so we got to come up with something. We got to come up with something. You got apple already? Somebody got apple? Well, it's interesting you say that because um, really apple's apple is apple. an amazing flavor. Green it really is, you know. Um, as a standalone, the, see, the one thing I, I try to look at, too, is as a person who's going to say, all right, let's put out this flavor, right? It's like nobody else has an apple, like, frozen product like that, right? Have you ever seen one? Nope. Okay, now, now hey, hey, let me ask you, though. So now, is that, exactly, is that good or bad? A lot of times people do sour apple, which I'm really not too big on. Green apple. Yeah. Green apple. Yeah. Green apple would be hidden, though. Do it? I mean, I like it. I fuck with green apple. Apple's the biggest fruit. It's the it's the biggest fruit, I mean, Maybe. green apples, you know what I'm saying? What about like an orange yeah. vanilla? Take that out of the wax. That, well, that cream, be really yeah, natural, that's... Though, it? that's... You can. That's cream. Vanilla's a natural. It yeah. just really, it matters what, where you get it from and how you do it, no doubt about yeah. it. But yeah, you can absolutely do vanilla naturally. Yeah, see. I mean, you know, we can always, you know, collab. because, you know, I mean, yeah. Varsity, they famous for the, for the frozen orange. Frozen orange, yeah, they definitely oh, yeah. Orange vanilla. Yeah. Orange vanilla. Yeah. Coke and shit. Coke, yeah. 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 Orange so, and vanilla. I mean, you know. We're we to tie in somebody from Liberty City for that. 
Dude, just in Miami. Yeah, yeah. So I was cheesing, man. Don't bring Miami in here because he. Oh, Jesus. We like to talk yeah. a lot of sports yeah. around these parts. Strawberry okay. banana. Yeah. So strawberry banana be busting, man. If y'all, y'all strawberry right. banana, strawberry indeed. Tra- yeah. Cherry tra- tropical, you know, we know. We, yeah. we know. we know. We know. We know. He only uses fruits and berries in his hair. That's why I look like that. Yeah. We like to talk a lot of sports around here. I love it. And, and yeah. One of the things that's kind of been intriguing to us is the NFL offseason. We still mm-hmm. been in tune with what's going on in the NFL. And, the draft is not too far from now, and of course, NFL free agency is, you know, all, all these things are coming about. But we know one gentleman may be on the, well, not maybe, one gentleman is for certainly tomorrow. going to be traded. Tomorrow. Rumored to tomorrow. be tomorrow. We'll wow. see. Possibly a deal will be set in place we'll by see. Friday, but we, we shall see. Antonio Brown and the Pittsburgh Steelers yeah. are a marriage that has grown apart, and right. they're, you know, they're, 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 they filed for divorce, and now we just wait to see. <laughs> They, just, how, they signed the baby. Where's he? Where's the rumor to go? Well, there's Vegas. It's several no. teams. Well, the Raiders still have a few years before they get out there, of course. Yeah, but yeah. you know, we want like, them in the Bay, though. It's been some rumors about San Fran. I'm a Niner I fan. Mean, you some already know. Rumors about the Green Bay Packers. <sighs> So where, where 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 do you gentlemen? Y'all can guess. Y'all can start it off. Where do y'all gentlemen feel the best fit for Antonio Brown would be? Hey, I'm a Niner fan. I know, I know. Man, I know. So. I, yeah, I'm Jay Rice, fly already. Eagles, fly. Hey, oh, I feel oh you. That's the whole Eagles, team. That's, yeah, we know you. Want, we already know you want him. That's to my go. man, though. So yeah. I would love to see him but, coming with the whole Jay, team. Jay you know Rice saying? already stamped him, so you know they've been work, rumored to be working out. So I, I want to see him in a Niner uniform. I'm, I spent half my life in Baltimore. I'd like to see him in the Ravens. My man, oh, boy, my man. Boy. That's it. Oh, I'd like wow. to see him in the Ravens uniform. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that, like, y'all not going to be able to get you know on the ball. I'm like, hey, two cash Baltimore. Hey, we have some CC. Even Baltimore, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My no, folks sorry. from Baltimore. All right. He's just like, uh, like, <laughs> 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 just like hey, purple. I am, I am from, <laughs> hey, he's all right with me. Indeed, man. Fan. Baltimore yeah. don't have no quarterback. They ain't going to be able to throw him the ball. Oh, hey, That's man, what I said. Oh, that was my next question. That's what I said. Yeah. Hey, man. Look, trust in Lamar. Y'all going to learn. Lamar yeah. gonna be better, but he not. Right. He's he not, right. he not here reading. He's, he's right. a running back. Tr- uh, J. Black, he we, you, you love you. He might be out of here. He gonna be out of here. He might be out of here. They what? might be. They Calm might down. be. Y'all, y'all did one Calm thing. Down, y'all did one thing <laughs> right for <laughs> so, 15 so, years. So homie, he good money. He he's he's from Cincinnati. He a Bengals fan, so we let him know that. You know what I'm saying? They did one thing right in 15 years. Got rid of Marvin Lewis. That's about all y'all got right. So, and matter of fact, they didn't do that right because they, they, wow. they got rid of them about 10 years too late. Actually, 12. New Day, right? We call them New Day. New Day, who day? New Day, who day? Last take, last day. Ain't no new plays. That's all I know. Best team in the North. Craft did it. What's that? That? You know, Listen, Listen, look, Crab wanna hang with the rappers and all that. Listen, you know how many times I got live in my life? If he did it, I ain't mad at him. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah championship out right there in uh with the what up? I feel like he's in a rush out with what was it three? There was an Asian uh Paula. But uh that police department wanted to make a name out of himself. They just wanna throw Robert Crab name around his office. Man, I hear you on that, man. He just wanna say he's a he's a he likes he's a patient. He's been running with Meek Mill, so he's a Tom Brady fan, so yeah, I, I I like Tom Brady. It's hard not. It's harder to deny Tom Brady. Oh yeah, his greatness. It's hard to deny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you can't deny. Him. You can't deny him. Uh, Man, I'm not gonna hate on Tom. Brady. Who do I think, or who do who do I think he fits with, or who do I think he's going to? Who do you think he fits? Who with? you think he fits with? Fits. I mean, fits. I would say Kansas City. If we gonna fit. Oh wow! I thought about Kansas City. Wow. They, are, they already got a little. They're receiver not trading though. that man to Kansas City. They're they definitely are, not gonna trade him. No. They already got a little. He's receiver. in their division, isn't he? He in the conference. No, in the conference though. Nah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, it. Yeah, they would be foolish. That would be like stupid. Absolutely, yeah. it's true. Yeah. Nice. Far away as they but possibly if, can. But if we're right? keeping it a buck, he probably will end up in Oakland. They got the they got the most assets. assets. Yeah, trade them. Up. It's got, like Boston right now in the off season. You kind of just that's why you see AD going there because they got the most assets. They got they got twenty five first round picks. So. I'm trying to tell you. So they get rid of some of those and you know probably get AD, then have 
uh, until they, they fix the offensive line, I don't really care about. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> we know where you go. We know. We know. No, I don't think, I don't think he's going to Philly. I don't think he should come to Philly. Yes, uh, only only person I'm worried about is Le'Veon Bell. So he ain't I, ain't to, I, I do hope we get Le'Veon. You know what come, I'm but I him. think if, if I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna cheat because I'm gonna give two responses. I definitely think he would fit with the Colts. I think like him and Ty. Him and Ty. You know what I'm saying? And I, I know I just I know I know I'm gonna say I know I just made a comment about Little Receiver, but in the dome I think that would be cool with Andrew Luck and all the dinking and dunking he's been doing as of lately. Antonio Brown is a great route runner, so he can throw in them five and out, seven and outs, different little routes, and Antonio Brown will get yards after the catch. So I think he could be a quality receiver for Andrew Luck. But so I finally know. figured out that tight end position, too. Yeah, I respect that. He had a yeah, he brought probably like a football player now. I mean, a lot of that was the organization he was playing in up there in Detroit. So Yeah, they'll you know mess up his dream. They'll mess up a wet dream. certainly a part of his demise, but like, as y'all mentioned, he's doing good right now. And I, I like I like the Green Bay notion as well. Like, I've heard cats talking about Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers having that type of receiver he already <laughs> used to playing in. Difficult weather playing in Pittsburgh, like it's no piece of cake there in right. the winter time. Now, I know Lambo gets worse, but he'd be all right. He could he could make it I work. Think weather is the biggest problem with that situation. But I'm, I, him and Aaron, he, he they may be with each other needs. Like Aaron Rodgers, he we all know he's great, but he didn't have the best year media wise last year. The locker room hasn't looked too well for him, so he needs another turn around so we can see him in State Farm commercials again as the front man. And Antonio Brown is going to need to land somewhere as well where we, a lot of us don't feel like his career or his name is tarnished. But people have been trying to throw him under the bus, you know what I'm saying? So he still got to come out and perform. Or there are going to be the naysayers that was like, oh, it was Ben, it was ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger. So all this controversy that's recently taking place between him and Ben Roethlisberger, he'll look like a fool, he'll look like an idiot. Especially with Juju having a big game. I like so, Aaron Rodgers. I, I, like, I, like, I like Aaron Rodgers. But here's the question I want to ask. I just don't want to see Antonio Brown come out looking like Jimmy Grant. Jimmy you know Grant was kind of at the end of his career at that point, though. And, 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 he, I don't know about Ian. Like, he was he, like... He started like, moving around. And Jimmy was, like, was dropping a lot of though. shit out there. He, um, was, he, he, he lit the tight end and turns out to get before. Yeah. And then he was dropping a before lot Before he shit. came to Green Bay, right? Yeah, it was in Seattle. He was lit the tight end and the touchdowns. And I what think did his he, problem was with, when he left the Saints... He, he, should went never to, live. he went to an organization where well, it, wasn't like it was his choice, but he went to an organization where Russell didn't really trust him like Drew did. Drew was like, oh, it's two people over there? Cool. You already 6'7". It doesn't matter. We're going to throw it anyway. Right. Russell's okay. like, ah, you double cover. Somebody else is open. You know, so it's like, hey, your numbers drop, everything like that. So now the way people look at you is different because your numbers don't look the same. We talking about Tony Brown? Jimmy. Nah, Jimmy. And he still ain't gonna block nobody. I you know who I you know who I had I was just sitting there thinking about no, I ain't mad at that. I just I just went Adam's out there. Adam's balling. I just want I just wanna leave me on Philly, that's all. I ain't mad at that combo. That would be a good combo. I, won't, I wouldn't be mad. I don't know if they could do this, but if the Texans they ain't gonna be that would be dope. Monetary wise, they ain't gonna be able to do it. They pay but he's in the money. AFC. They're DeAndre, not sending him there. DeAndre, AJ. J- I mean, JJ's deal's already. He's already into his deal already. Well, Le'Veon. I'm not Le'Veon, but Jadavian. But I'm just saying, if, if they had the way to do that, I mean, I wouldn't be mad. Oh, that would be a dope. You have but DeAndre, AB, and they the same situation though that I feel like with. Uh, but I think he would. I think he won't give the. Uh, What's the boy's name? Deshaun. Deshaun. That kind of grief. Because, one, Deshaun is a proven leader. And he'll probably trust him more than. They'd probably be able to fit more personality-wise, yeah. I do think. But my thing with them is the Texans' problem is up front. We already saw Deshaun Watson was one of the most sat quarterbacks. I think he was the most sat quarterback in the league last year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think he so, was the most sat quarterback. And then in the red zone, it's even worse. So it's like, eh, you can give him, yeah, you can give him as many zone. weapons as you want to, but unless you give him time, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, they didn't mm-hmm. uh, address that during the draft this year. Draft, free agency, all of that. Yeah, I mean. I already told you how I feel yeah. about it. You, you ain't going to win if your trenches is soft. Falcons. Yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, your team's, your <laughs> team's <laughs> trenches is yeah, beyond soft. They, they jellyfish soft. <laughs> Antonio Brown in the league. Nine years, he only he went over 1,000 yards seven times. He only, he, he, only been, he only not been over 1,000 yards two times. That's his, what, his first so I, I really feel like it don't matter what quarterback he goes to. He's going to get 1,000. It's going to be harder. But I think, he, I think pretty much wherever he go, he going to He'll have his numbers. He's going to produce. Yeah. It's, it's been six years running. He's he going over at least 1,200 yards receiving. Regardless of the fact they've been with four feet on the football. 
Hmm. I mean, cause also, who else during that time? Who else we throwing to? Before Juju got there, it was A B and who else? They had that that one. What was the one? Mc It was something. Exactly, can't remember his name. My not the one that kept getting suspended. Boy, Martavis Bryant. Oh, Martavis Bryant. He had a good oh, he year. Okay, he wasn't even allowed another play. I mean, and then before that, he was the number two receiver. Yeah. Before was that, it was. Nah, uh, uh, AB. Yeah. Nah, he wasn't there with Tony. Nah, yeah, Martavis Bryant was good for a year, and then he couldn't stay off. And the worst receiver is he couldn't stay off the weed. <laughs> he can't stay off it, so that's his problem now. He got yeah. the talent, he just can't right. stay off it. Yeah, yeah. yeah he can't yeah. stay off the gas. Somebody need to be in Z like, bro, you, you missing out on millions because you can't sell the gas. You know, uh, and that's even worse. Yeah, that's, that's not a good look for that's us. Not. That's the first thing I said when you went to get. I said, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a rule that needs to be lifted. Like, it needs to be lifted. That's just going to be I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like, there's no way you can live in places where it's legal and then you, can't you still you can't. You're not smoke. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. It's one of those kind of like. Tricky ordinances, you know, in that mm-hmm. sense. Like half the country, it's legal, and half the time you're traveling to those places too. Those guys play in those cities, right? right? It's like, and not to mention with the medical <clears throat> benefits of just being able to. I mean, these guys are getting creamed. Exactly, they want to. They want to dope you up, but they want. They don't yeah. want to let you smoke dope. Like yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, right. they want to kill your liver, but they don't want you to let you smoke. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And we ain't never heard nobody die from smoking weed that wasn't laced. <laughs> True <laughs> enough. Indeed. True yeah. enough. So, yeah. But I've seen many yeah. people die of overdoses on everything else. You know, prescription p- pills. Yeah, right, right. A lot of these guys, they go from pain yeah. pills to other stuff. You know? Exactly. It's like what leads them right down that road. Exactly. So I'm exactly. Just make it legal and let dudes, you know, get on the tree and they be all right. I mean, and, and they have trainers who could prescribe them the right amount. Right. And the right type and the right dosage. Because nowadays, like, you know, back in the day, marijuana was like, you got some weed. Nowadays, it's like you walk into stores and they've got like 87 different strains and it's this, that, and the other. And you're like, when did it become such a science, right? Right. You know, <clears throat> I, can't, I can't tell you honestly the last time that I smoked weed, right? But I can tell you that I know that marijuana... From now to where marijuana was 10 years ago or whatever, right? It's a hell of a lot different, Mm -hmm. right? It's a lot better. Am I right? Or is I just smoking some bad shit? It's legal. Like you say, a lot of it's... I mean, well, with it... Yeah, with it becoming legal, now you have the ability to do more research openly on it. So now you can... You know, experiment with different strands. Put different things in it to say, okay, well, let's see how this affects it. Blase, blase. And so, like, even, like, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I heard earlier today, they passed, not passed, but they did vote, yes, on uh, using oil. oil. Yeah. yeah see, but it's know. low in uh, THC, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. So, you still get the same benefits of it without the trippiness of it. That's just the first step. Yeah, that's they the first step. Going, 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 <clears throat> it's going to be legal in next, all 50 states within the next year that. Yeah, within the next of course. Well, year and a half, it'll be legal everywhere. It yeah, might be fine. It's, 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 it's too much money going. It's too, too much money. money. It's, yeah. I mean, the guys in the in the in the in the middle part of the country that feel like they're starting to miss out, farmers mm-hmm. looking at like, man, that dude in Colorado is making so much money, and like my fields are twenty Washington. times better than his. I'm saying there's a reason people are leaving Wall Street to go open dispensaries. Indeed. Yeah, and, a lot of, and a lot of, and you see a lot of athletes is getting into, uh, two chains. Chains. Uh, Jack, Al Harrington, Al Harrington, Al Harrington, Viola. Shout out to my guy. Shout out to Viola. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my guy. You know, I, I don't, I don't indulge in it, but that's my guy. So, hey, proud of my, hey, hey. Proud of my dog with the Viola. Gas. Yeah, so. Hey, Brando. Well, Zach. Well, that's Zebo right Z, there. Big Zebo. Zebo. <laughs> yeah, Zebo. Hey, that's hey, that man's been a part of that life for a long time. Hey, 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 chill out. <laughs> We've been hearing a lot about the NFL mock draft, so we're going to ask you, gentlemen, who do y'all see as the number one pick or will be selected with the number one pick in this year's upcoming NFL draft? Boy. I hope it ain't. I mean, I'm not going to say I hope it's not. I like I like Kyler Murray. I mean, I want him to keep winning. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, I like so, that young cat as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot, man. It's too many so it's gonna be a very. It really just depends. It's, it's depending on because as I just read yesterday, they said they're not going. 
Supposedly they'll get rid of Josh uh, Rosen right well, now. Josh Rosen going to yeah, I mean, we, Cincinnati. They talking about they said he's gonna go to the Patriots. Arizona. Josh, Arizona got number one pick. Yeah, Arizona number one pick. But Tyler it's, it's gonna be it's gonna, I mean we all know it's gonna be a defensive yeah, heavy. Also. Yeah, like the first one the first round will be all defensive players for real. Yeah, I mean besides besides Kyler, probably just uh what's Haskins and uh what's the other boy from So do everybody here thinks that Kyler Murray gonna First quarterback I didn't say that. I do. We we we've there's already a, had this conversation. Hold on. There's a should and would in this situation. Should absolutely not. You know how my stance on that. Would probably just off a of hype alone. Uh, uh, if if Arizona if Arizona passes on him, then no. I think Haskins is first. But if I think Arizona going to take him, and I think Probably. it's going to be that same effect that uh, – That'll be – that. I just don't – I don't that, like that. Baker Mayfield. That Baker that Mayfield Baker had because everybody was like, what? Scratching their head, but then Baker came and balled out, and See, now everybody like, damn, he was the number one pick in the draft. The difference he, between that, though, is Cleveland he, had a good defense. They had a good defense, and they had offensive players that came in. Yeah, like Arizona just – they their last year they just – Drafted a quarterback number one, yeah. mm-hmm. and so it's like, all right, so you already have one guy on the roster, so you're gonna draft another one, they and so it's like, and that what even, and but what are you gonna really realistically, what are you gonna get they for him? Not, especially they trade him to the Bengals, it depends on where they send him. And I mean, and, and, and he Patriots. didn't have, he didn't have a bad, he Patriots. didn't have a bad so year, that. but that team yeah. was the offense line was terrible. He's so not he's not a bad quarterback. So, so I said, so if you, I would tell my homeboys, I said, if you trade him. And he goes somewhere and ball out, and the Kyler flops, which happens a lot. Then you go like, man, we should have kept him. And you go have the uh, who's I need to, I need to compare. It's all about system, though. And he I mean, he can play. Well, the system. They both they fit. He ain't both of fit them in fit. that new that Cliff new. Kingsbury and Texas Tech. He ran the offense. Both of them are good at running. Spread. They both Read of them off. can run that. So it's a it's, it's all about what Cliff Kingsbury wants to do. He but my thing is, he, he, you have a you have a better you have a better team. I feel like if you flip that number one pick for maybe two first round picks and, and a then, pick next year, yeah. that way you can build around Josh Rosen. Like it's too early to give up on him. He's a, he got ta- he has talent. You have you have an offensive weapon. You got David Johnson. You got Larry Fitzgerald. Larry. Larry. Yeah. Larry. Yeah, I like. I mean, I'm, 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 I mean, this is like Larry's a name at Larry's a name at this point. I, I do like, like Christian Kirk. You said Larry a name <laughs> at this point, like LeBron. Oh, wow! I'm asking. Wow! Oh, yeah. Here we go. I, don't, I won't go that we, far, but here we go. Uh, I wasn't going. I won't go, go that far, but oh, the block. I won't go that far. Anyway, <laughs> before I was, I, I was kind of tough. That, yeah, he, here we go. But nah. um they have a, a decent if, – or if you want to do that, take Joey Bosa, That's what they build on defense. Go build yeah, your defense. Yeah, yeah, Bosa, don't, don't try to – don't try to – Get Patrick Peterson out of there too. Don't try to get – don't no, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't try to get to the Super Bowl in one swing. You know what I'm saying? Build. build. You, you're a young coach. Your coach is under 40. And if they don't take – Or somebody's going to trade up to get him, like, round eight or nine. The Patrick, the, uh, Patrick Mahomes type. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Somebody will trade up to get him. But I, if, if the Arizona Cardinals don't get him, I think Haskins is going first. I he's a giant. Sure. I can bring that. Oh, that's, he's, he's, sure that's he's a done deal right there. Yeah, because he's, 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 he's a local then, kid. And then Kyle Murray, we're going to see if he can fall to Miami in 13. You want to Miami just for your city. I just don't he don't like care he's about it. First quarterback, so I, think I don't think he should be. But we already talked about that. I don't think he should be. I wouldn't mind him going to the Giants. I wouldn't mind him going to the Giants. You probably want him in Philly too, don't you? No, we get money. <laughs> <laughs> you know y'all. You know y'all need two quarterbacks because you're, you're a real quarterback. And I want. And I want. Y'all need Baker bad. DeAndre Baker. Uh, yeah, I would like him. I heard he's slipping. I thought he wasn't gonna be around and shit. We spoke about that. I like Young Boy. He are, they got us taking a Young Boy from from Temple. A cornerback that I don't know too much about. But he's a I think I know what you're talking about. He's straight, though. Yeah. We shall see. Neat. What's next for the business, gentlemen? What, what are you looking to accomplish in the next few months? I'll say six months. Take plans. over Atlanta. Next two weeks. Taking over much. Atlanta. That's right. <laughs> next two weeks. And, and, just, and just really taking over <laughs> Atlanta, moving it into, you know, different areas like schools and things like that, and also infusing it more into the hip-hop culture, getting some, you know, um, some artists behind it. 
you know, some, some people that just recognize it for it being a good product. Yeah, and I'm sure Timmy got it. Yeah, no, no, things. that's like yeah. that's kind of just in line with like across the board, you know, mm-hmm. like uh, in every market, we're trying to you know double down on what we've been doing, right? You know, try to constantly expand it a little further, wider, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, and but Philadelphia. You know, yeah, we don't, right. we don't, we're it's ironic, you know, yeah, with the, uh, really, nothing, we could talk about that. Some family yeah, connections, maybe you could leverage, you know, like, so we, uh, we might can leverage some things out there. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But we'd like to, you know, uh, really master the manufacturing end of it, you know, in terms of making it, you know, uh, work on efficiencies, work on, um, you know, uh, what we can do to make it that much better, right? Um, and also to, to kind of recognize now we, we're total controls of our supply line. So in that sense, like, you know, understanding that as much as I can, uh, more than anything, myself, you know, uh, uh, I think is the most paramount to having even more success in two, three, four, and five years, right? Because this is a five to seven year hustle, right? When I look at it, it's a five to seven year, right? It'll take us five to seven years to be in every corner of the United States, right? Um, so with that in mind, knowing that this year, if I spend the time on making sure that the foundation <laughs> is more solid than it's ever been, knowing that then in the next five to six years, it could pay overwhelming dividends and we could do things like these collaborations like we want to get into, right? Um, I think that could really spread the brand and really put it into way. But like he said, the culture, getting more involved, right? Um, that for me has always been from day one, right? That's just because that's part of who I am, right? Uh, it reflects it in the character, reflects it in the packaging, reflects it in the style of anything and everything that we do, right? Um, so with that in mind, it's like, now I feel like it's those times to take those kinds of steps, you know? Um, and sell a fuck ton of them, <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know? That's, that's got to yeah. be the goal. Let our audience know once again how they can follow you on social media. All natural products, something mm-hmm. real good right here. Make sure you Healthy. Healthy. Let them know how they can check the business And it out. tastes damn it good. <clears throat> yeah, cool suppliers everywhere. C double O L S U P P L I E R S. Cool suppliers. We supply you with cool. Pretty simple, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good Indeed. Good hey, that's easy. That's it. Yeah, supply you with the cool. Hey, why not? Gentlemen, it's been a, a great show as always and whatnot. Per use. We're gonna hit the Royal <laughs> at the Texas next week, so we're gonna work that out and see what's going South on. South Southwest. Where, where y'all see before we close out tonight? Where's Where's Antonio Brown going? What will he be when we see each other again next week or the following week? He'll be a Raider. A Raider. Oh. Baltimore. Baltimore, I ain't mad at that. Be a homer. He'd be probably with the Raiders of San Francisco. I said, uh, yeah, I mean, so real, real realistic, he'd probably be. Somebody that can pay him. Yeah. The Texans. I mean, not Texans, uh, the other team that's uh, in that division, Titans. I heard their names. Mm. I'm going to be too mad about that. Him Don't and be mad about that. Him and uh, Tamir need a receiver. Yeah, Lord he, Jesus. He Jesus Christ. Sure. Well, he's supposed to be with the cat Corey Davis, though. But Corey he, Davis. He got to stay healthy. He, okay, he, 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 he need a receiver for sure. Get, get, we want to give much love and blessings to our man H as he handled business yeah, when he's on the West Coast exactly. and whatnot. Much love to him. Much love to my man Jay Black for holding us down and, 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 and rocking with the set, making us look great. This week again, once again, make sure y'all check out Cool Suppliers because they're bringing you the cool. They're going to put the cool in you. See my man Steve in the cut, Groovy Lou in the I cut, like as that. always. Appreciate love y'all Steve? bros for coming out, giving us y'all time and, and, and rocking with us. Steve, don't worry, I got I got more buckets coming for you we next go. time we hit the gym, too. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Boy, I got two, this boy had two points. And I ain't exactly. Three, 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 I mean, y'all can come out, In too. 21. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got, I got my workout, got my sweat out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to come out there and get your ass brushed. Y'all gonna be a little rusty and we got the rust off now. You know what I'm saying? But these are Steve Courts. I'm gonna let y'all know that. Like him and his homies, these the courts. They ain't playing on the crates like two chains. Oh, they got they they got the hot spots. Trick shots, you know what I'm saying? Throw it behind your back and go into the backboard and all that. (laughs) That's the, these these day courts and whatnot. So he he know the court out there. I guess. Let our audience know where they can check y'all out as usual. Oh yeah, for sure. Per usual, my long Instagram name, uh, Chevelle Cruz, C H E V E L L E C R U Z. Good lord, it's like twenty five. I'm gonna change it sooner or later. <laughs> Uh, well, one of the two pages you catch me at uh, CEO Trish C O T R I C H E, and also for your sneaker news, catch me at King's Kicks K I N G K I C K. A-T-L, True baby. plug, oh, the plug. Wait, what we gotta pick up? I mean, exactly. I know you got them orange fear guys. Hey, 
No, he got them purple ones. Oh, you got the purple ones? All right, see, see, see y'all just don't see right, his shoes. He got them all right now. All right, see, see, they are tripping. I am not. Look, I just talk about your sneakers. There's a reason PJ Tucker be on his page. PJ. I mean, they won't blow up my page. I mean, that's fine, but I am not a PJ Tucker supplier. I mean, if I was. I'd be happy, but you know, I ain't supplying it yet. I ain't that far in the game yet, baby. I ain't supplying people like that yet. Uh, dang, y'all trying, to, y'all trying to boost me up already. I hey, listen, man. We just I trying mean, to talk it into it. Speak to the existence. But in that case, in Nike, give us a deal. How about that? Y'all that's holler. That's all. Yeah, that's all we're talking about. Shout out once again to our man Lou for the wonderful spirits for this evening. You can follow me as always, Eldorado24. Five two. Follow these urban times. Of course, follow the station and check out everybody out every day. As we mentioned, Sunday to Sunday, something's going on here at Live Hip Hop Delhi. You can catch a lot of amazing shows, amazing talent, amazing folks, and amazing conversations. So tune in here. Peace and blessings. We'll see you next week.